everyone and welcome to part two of the Fostered LP. Um, sorry, I'm currently just getting my timer up. <laughs> uh, reset, start. Okay, so little Miss Bailey is just waking up. She has school today. It is a Monday. Um, all of the kids have to go to school. They have to have a good... Um, <clears throat> grade when they grow up and that's not because of Gloria caring about how they do in school that's because if the town council find out that Gloria isn't making sure that her kids have a good education she will be fired from her job and she earns a lot of money from taking care of these kids so she has to make sure that all of the kids are perfectly taken care of um, you know what, you can have cereal. <laughs> Not having hot dogs for breakfast. She has to make sure all the kids are perfectly taken care of, which is why they all have a bedroom. They all have their own bed. And so on and so forth. Um, but little Miss Bailey is bribed to... Curtis, get out of that pool. Come and take a bath. Oh, sorry. I just had a text message. Um, it's actually my mum and I kind of need to reply to it, so give me a quick second. Um. There we go. She's just asking me to check on my puppy because she left the, um, her in the garden, but I brought her inside, so. It's all good. Um. Yeah, so. She has, as I was saying, she has to make sure every single child is taken care of, but she bribes Ready Bailey um, with her bedroom. She said that she would take away her bedroom if she um, to if she told like the people, the council people, that she was being mistreated and she'd have to sleep in the basement. But we don't have a basement, but she doesn't know that. Um, as far as Bailey knows, there could be a basement in her room because none of the kids are allowed in her room. Um, yeah. So Bailey's just wanting to come out on the swing quickly before school. Her school bus should arrive in an hour. It should pop up right now. Yep. Ah, uh, yeah. So, yeah, I think while Bailey's in school we're just going to focus on Robbie, little Mr. Robbie Geiger who has his imaginary friend. Beautiful. Um, Gloria needs to actually come up here and feed him real quick because he's feeling a little bit hungry. Here we go. Humiliated from what? Does she have an argument with one of the kids or something? Okay. I need to get up this timer again because I've like closed it down. There we go. Okay. So yeah, we might spend some time with um, Robbie and Gloria, but we might also skip ahead. I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> this defines, this defines her loneliness. Like, oh, Dustin's gonna come play with her, I think. What are you doing? What's going on? Free vacation? No, she wishes. She ain't getting no free vacation. Okay, so school bus is here, so all of the kiddies are going to head out and go to school. I don't know why she was like waving goodbye to Gloria then. I have no idea. But yeah, when she comes back, she'll be expected to clean up around the house, like clean up all of the kids' like food that they've had. She'll have to make all of the beds and all that stuff. She's just not treated very fairly. Gloria's gonna come pay the bills of 688 simoleons. Well, I should be fine. Does this stuff go stale? I don't think it does. Okay, what's up with Robbie? How's he doing? He needs to use the toilet. Um, do we even have a potty? I don't even think we do. Nope, well he's gonna have to poop in his pants then. <laughs> but yeah, he's just probably gonna spend the day with Gloria. 
and little Mr. Robbie. While Bailey's in school, we're really not going to be able to, you know, spend a lot of time with her. Here's all the foster kids just running in school. It's so sweet. Like, they all have their little community. I bet they all look out for each other in school as well. It's so sweet. Um, she's going to work hard in school. I think all of the kids are, actually, because they're forced to by Gloria. <laughs> so that she doesn't get told off by the council. Here we go. We head back to Gloria. She's feeling a bit hungry. She's eating some hot dogs. Oh, well. Okay, I don't know what happened then. My, my like, motor skills just dropped. <laughs> okay. Mm. Robbie has pooped. <laughs> Gloria's gonna come out here and sort him out when she's finished eating. There we go. Come and sort him out. And then she can sort herself out. But yeah, I'm really, really, oh my goodness, what is up with this camera? It just moves way too fast sometimes. I think my sensitivity on my mouth, mouse, not my mouse, my mouse is uh, too high, low, I don't know, whichever one makes it faster. Oh, oh. Baby She does care about a lot of the children. I mean, she is mean, but she does care about them a bit. Well, she's kind of lost care for Curtis, and she absolutely hates Bailey, so. Yeah, there's that. She wants to let- see, she does care about them. She wants to, she wants to buy a mirror so she can look at herself. Worth how much? 600 simoleons, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's Gloria. In one. I tried to give, like, this bathroom, like, an old-fashioned look. I think that's what I was going with for the entire foster home. That's kind of what I see. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry if I'm making you guys seasick by, like, swinging the camera around. I don't know what's going on. No, we're not going to Egypt. Buy Bone Hilda. <laughs> would actually be quite good. Buying a Bone Hilda. By the way, if any of you can hear, like, noises in the background, that's my dog. <laughs> Robbie, why don't you do something that will actually like benefit you in the future, like playing with this? Okay, so time is going by a lot slower than I thought it would be, so I'm just going to skip ahead until um, little Bailey comes home with all of her classmates and plus of friends and stuff. So I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, so the kitties have just arrived home. And they all need to sit down and do their homework. So, you get little Baileykins to do her homework. Mm. And this little kid has come home. Ethan Parrot came home with Curtis, I think. Mm. So he's one of Curtis's friends. Guy, I have no idea, like, what is up with this table and why people are freaking out about the table so much. <laughs> oh, Bailey tripping over. I don't understand. I don't understand why people can't, like, sit at the table. I might have to get a new table. <laughs> oh, there we go. See? There's no problems there whatsoever. Ginger Blackburn, she keeps, like, not fixing herself. Okay. Come on, Bailey, do your homework. <laughs> She, I locked this in while she was at school, she wants to hang out with Whitney and I thought that was like really nice because she looks up to Whitney like an older sister and yeah. These, Whitney and Renee are both her best friends so I think, I think it's quite cute that she looks up to Whitney, her best friend. Okay, come on Bailey. All the other kids have like finished their homework and you're still sat here. You done? Mm. Yeah, she's done. Okay, so who's passed out on the floor here? Curtis has passed out here. I don't know why. Uh, we are going to eat some hot dogs. Actually, I'm gonna get Gloria to make some more food. Something vegetarian because like poor little um, Renee woke up last night because she's vegetarian and she like threw up everywhere. Here we go. Okay, so you wanted to hang out with Whitney, so... Renee! <laughs> Renee, you're not allowed in there. What are you doing? Look, this is your bed. 
Set bed ownership. Okay, I need to move this like little plastic thing because my mouse is like moving against it. <laughs> it's making a really big noise. So this is Renee's bed. This bed is Bailey's bed. Okay, that bed's already set. Okay, we should be good now. Um, where's Whitney? In the pool! Oh my goodness. I think I need to put a fence around this pool. <laughs> because the kids are not supposed to- Oh, but she loves to swim. That's so sad. Okay. Bailey, you wanted to hang out with Whitney, so let's go ahead and do that. I think she actually has to do the, like, ask to hang out thingy. Which I'm not seeing. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not seeing it, but it's okay. They can just like talk to each other, <laughs> chat. Okay, Gloria just oh, earned a cooking pretty. skill point. Oh. After she's talked to her a little bit, she can grab <laughs> a plate. What does this actually say? I assume wants to spend more quality time with a friend or loved one. Check us him down. Use the phone to arrange a meeting. Hmm. Oh, there we go. It wasn't actually like a proper interaction. It was just literally talk to her. <laughs> It's quite funny. Aww. Okay, and before Bailey goes to bed, she needs to really sort out like this entire. She needs to clean up this. Where all the toilets and sinks clean and such. She'll need to make the beds. Oh, no, 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 so she can get her fun up. What is she? She's working at a C at the moment. That's not bad. C isn't bad. Renee's doing her homework. What? Dustin? What is he up to? Come home. He's gonna get a massive telling off from Gloria. The kids are only supposed to leave the house for school and that's it. So hopefully he gets back before his curfew ends, otherwise he's going to get told off. Okay, let's clean up all of these plates. I'm just going to zoom through her cleaning up because... Who peed? Who peed? Oh, somebody passed out. Oh, I didn't know they were that tired. Oh, I love him, and he's just up here starving. He needs his nappy changed. Oh my goodness, Gloria. She's actually terrible. Come and change his dirty diaper and feed him on the floor, and then you can send him to bed afterwards. Oh my goodness. Imagine what it's going to be like when all of these kids turn into teenagers. That would be crazy. And then we're going to go ahead and... <gasps> Can she not do laundry? Oh, I thought she could do laundry, but apparently she can't. Okay. Fair enough. Somebody else will just have to do that. Okay. Let's watch some TV real quick. Oh, poor Robbie. He's just like neglected upstairs. Oh. Okay, she's just watching TV for fun. What is she watching? Let's watch the kids' zone. <laughs> Yay, yeah, Sims 2. I literally haven't. Last time I played Sims 2 was like the Sims Castaway stories. It's the last time I played the Sims 2. Probably about two and a half years ago. I don't know. Okay. 
We are done with that. Let's go to the toilet and then we can just head upstairs and go to bed. Like so. Little Robbie's all taken care of good. He's just going up to bed. The house is somewhat clean. Oh, there is a plate right here. You know what? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Clean that up, then use the toilet, and then go to bed. And yeah, I'm just going to skip ahead until, probably until Bailey is back from school, probably. Yeah. Okay, I'll see you then. Okay guys, so Bailey was just about to go to school, but she got like stuck at the top of the stairs. I don't know, she was just stood there tapping her foot. And now Gloria's going to come and tell her all. Okay, and we're going to go to school. You're a big trouble young lady, you better not do that again. Maybe you should help around the house again, oh my goodness, that's outside. She helps around the house every freaking day, so. <laughs> what was that noise? I don't know what that noise was. Okay, I will get back to you guys after she's finished at school. Okay guys, so Bailey has just finished school and um, she is about to call up Gloria. Why is there no interactions available? Why is there no interactions available? Could we like do it via our phone? No, don't do your homework yet. Uh, oh. Call Sim chat. No. Oh. <laughs> okay, never mind. She is going to. Let's just say she called up Gloria and basically told her that because she was late to school this morning, they said to get her grades back in line, she has to pick up an extracurricular activity. And this extracurricular activity is ballet. But that is not true. Little Bailey here is lying so that she can spend um, evenings after school, you know, making money, like collecting things and, you know, selling things, like farming, like collecting, you know, harvesting stuff. I don't know. I thought it was a good idea. It was a bit sneaky of Bailey, but she needs the extra time. Like she can't keep sneaking out the house because Gloria will catch on. She'll know that she's sneaking out the house and such. So little Bailey here has called up Gloria and said, every single day after school, I now have ballet. Um, so yeah, she's basically um, getting out of it, but Gloria has said, okay, fair enough, but now she's making Bailey's best friend, Renee, do all of the housework on school days, like after, after school and such. So Bailey feels like really, really bad, but she wants to make it up to Renee. And you guys will have to keep in touch, like keep in touch to the rest of the LP to how she's going to make it up to her and such. But yeah, I thought that was a bit of a twist that she's now got to lie to her caretaker and say that she has an after school activity now every single day after school so that she can like sneak away and collect things and such. So we are going to head straight to the summer festival. Is there? Yes, there is a ton of flowers over here. So we are going to head here and we are going to collect all of these flowers and we are going to start making some moolas so we can get the hell out of this foster home. So yeah, she only has like a couple of hours so we're going to say that she's got to be home at 7 o'clock every single day. <laughs> that was Ethan, wasn't it? I don't know. She's got to be home at 6 o'clock every day. That's what we're going to say. Uh, not 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock. Oh, she literally just got hit by a car. Beautiful. She hasn't got a lot of energy either. And she does have a B grade. So it's not like she is actually falling behind in school. But yeah, we're going to head over to Renee real quick. Is she not home yet? What's going on? She got on the wrong bus? Like, I don't know. But yeah, when she gets home, 
she has to make all the beds and clean the house and such so yep make bed make bed make bed make bed and she has to clean up all the plates which are cleaned up so you know not complaining or anything okay oh little uh robbie sitting down here is there any of the bathrooms that need cleaning no nope so that's literally all she has to do is make beds that's not bad that's not bad at all and whitney here can go ahead and do her, lo her laundry in order to do her like extra activity okay bales is like sitting on the floor doing her homework we're gonna do that after school like after we finish our extracurricular activity you know um there's some more flowers i don't really want to pick like because i know cosmos uh with a lot of money but you know what she's saving up she needs to be able to buy a house when she's older so we just pick these flowers uh what <laughs> what on earth is this sorcery like that is spooky what on earth Okay, we're just going to ignore the like roller skates, just chilling out on the roller rink. Um, is there any more little flowers? Any more little flowers hanging around? What is this? Oh, it's a trekker. Trekker. Uh, okay, I'm not really seeing any more flowers. So, that should be all good. That should be all good. Okay, you can do your homework now. Oh, she's going to make a snow cone. Actually, don't do that. Just uh, do your homework. <laughs> oh, we should have entered the like hot dog eating competition and won like a bunch of hot dogs. <laughs> Just to take a greeting card picture. You know what? I think we will do that. I think we will do that. Okay, so is this the photo booth? Take greeting card photo. She can do that and then she can do her homework. In fact, we'll head home after we've taken this photo because I think it'll probably be about 7 o'clock when we get home. So, yeah. We can hang this picture up in her bedroom. Actually, we probably shouldn't because what if Gloria sees it? I don't know. There's some butterflies. Cute. In fact, we're going to pick these butterflies. Pick the butterflies. We are going to pick these butterflies over here. We're going to catch these butterflies. Okay. Did you get them? Did they disappear? Okay, cool. Um, okay, we're going to head home now. It is seven o'clock, so she'll probably get told off for being late. But, I mean... It's literally around the corner as well. That's... Not bad at all. Okay, we're- <laughs> Like, I don't know what's going on here. Like, there's a cowboy in my house. Okay, where is Gloria? It's Renee. Gloria is going to get out of her pool a sec, and she's going to come and yell at Bailey when she finally gets out of the pool. Okay, so she is going to mean argue oh she's sneezing okay Curtis is playing a video game I know you're tired sweetheart it's okay okay there we go <laughs> so she just got told off um, okay, she's absolutely shattered, so she's going to go and head to sleep. And I'm going to end this part here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, as I said in the last part, which I literally recorded just before this one, uh, I hope you guys are enjoying this, you know, this little series. I just, 
it seems like such a fun storyline. I can't wait to see how it goes on. It just sucks. Like, I'm not that free at the moment, so I'm not going to be able to film it as often as I really want to. But because it's something that I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy and the 100 Baby Challenge genuinely gives me a headache, as much as I love the 100 Baby Challenge, I'm going to try and film a part of that now. Um, this will, like, motivate me to record. And I'm going to stick to, like, the record one of these record 100 baby challenge so that you know whenever I want to record this I end up recording 100 baby challenge as well so yeah thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you in my next part bye everyone